Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can learn any cybersecurity role without going through cybersecurity courses, endless cybersecurity certifications, degrees, and cybersecurity boot camps. I recently started a role within governance, risk, and compliance, and I honestly don't understand a lot of the concepts. And so the best way to get an understanding of these of concepts is really just to build projects around and understand how it works at a fundamental level. Now before, now if you are a beginner, now it can actually be super hard to figure out exactly what cybersecurity projects that you, exactly how to build out a cybersecurity project if you don't have any knowledge of the field. The very first step to build out cybersecurity projects to gain those skills you need to either land a job or upskill in your current role is you need to figure out exactly where you are and where you want to go. A lot of people ask me, I want to get into cybersecurity. What can I do? Now, that's just a really open-ended question and really large and overwhelming. A better way is to assess where you're at and where you want to go in a specific job title. If you want to get in governance, risk, and compliance, it's going to be a much different skill set than if you want to become a SOC analyst. These are two different types of ways of being. Now, say, right, so for if you want to become an application security engineer, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through Indeed and you're going to want to harvest these application security engineer job descriptions and see exactly what they're looking at and exactly if this is even considered an entry level role. You want to do a skills inventory and really just collect all of these descriptions and then see what skills you need to gain for that specific job title. You don't just want cybersecurity job because that is super, super broad. Now, the second step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to brainstorm a lot of different ideas on how to gain these specific skills that you need. I actually created a cybersecurity portfolio builder, which helps me actually just do just that. If we go and we look at this screen, basically it will build out a project for me. Now, what I'm going to want to do is I already know, for instance, in my case, I want to learn application, web application security within AWS. And so I'm gonna to go to my handy dandy cybersecurity portfolio builder, and I'm going to be like, I really want to learn web application security for AWS. Please help me. I don't know. And then it's going to continue and prompt me for some more questions, just to clarify it a little bit. This can take a little bit of time. And so now the next step in this is it's going to go through an AWS skills asking me exactly where I am before just giving me projects, right? So it's going to tailor that project to my skill level. So let's see. I have worked within AWS before, mostly building out a SOC. Do I have any web development experience? No. I don't have any web development skills, but I have worked with WAF. And so let's see, what is my security knowledge? I understand the OWASP top 10. Um, and then honestly, I just want an easy project. I want a intermediate to easy project to give me a quick win. Then it goes into specific interests. Are there any specific aspects of web application security that AWS services that I'm particularly interested in? I want to know about NIST 800-171 and compliance for web application services in AWS. And you got all of this information from doing all of that research in the beginning, because now you're, we're just gonna brainstorm a lot of different ideas. So now it's just going to think for a little bit. Okay, now as you can see, it's building out my project and this is just one. So it may not be the perfect one. You're gonna want to brainstorm this, but it gives a description of what it is. So I'll be setting up a basic web application, applying controls and ensuring compliance with NIST 800-171. 
And so then it goes into the services that I have used. It goes into what exactly I need to know, what skills I'm going to demonstrate. It goes over the deliverables, resources I'm going to need for this cybersecurity skills and building out a project. And then also it gives me the project milestone. This is the step-by-step -step instructions on how I'm going to gain each one of these skills. And it even gives me like how I'm going to build off the first project. And so now it says there's an error in the message states, the message, message stream. And so we're just going to reiterate the process for a second. Okay, and so let's see. And now we get a second brainstorming project and then it is actually just completely different. So a compliance checklist, and then it's setting up uh, AWS cloud trail set up and all of that. Well, let's move into the third phase of this. So say you got the perfect project, you're good to go. Now you really just want to execute upon these projects. And what you're going to want to do is you're, say you have absolutely no idea, launch an EC2 instance and deploy a simple web application. Now that is a lot. So, so what you're going to do is you're just going to bring it down. You're going to be like, chat GPT, I have no idea. How do I do this within AWS? And it's going to give you a step-by-step -step guide that's completely updated on how to launch an EC2 instance and deploy a web application. And say it says go to the AWS management console and even gives you a link to that console, which is wild. And say you don't understand something. You're like, what does this mean? A T2 micro. What is this? You're like, I don't know what that is. And then you just ask what exactly is. Now this is just in time learning which is different than how the traditional model of school teaches you. Just in time learning, you just gather concepts as you actually do it. So then everything is applied and you understand things holistically. And you're not just consuming lots of information and you have no idea what to do. Just in time learning is absolutely great for tech. And as you can see, then it just goes into T2 micro and then it goes into the purposes, the performance, cost effectiveness, and all of that. So you can get really deep into a concept and learn how it is applied to basically building out a web application, which is really cool. Now this leads me to the fourth step, which is you need to document your projects. And I'm going to show you why. I have this resume right here, and this is free code camp. And this resume right here got him interviews at Amazon, Google, and all of the sort. Now it is for software engineering, but you can apply it to cybersecurity. And what he did, if you scroll down, is he has half of his resume legitimately is just projects that he did. So if you don't have any experience in cybersecurity, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build out projects. So then it looks like this resume right here. Now, not just any cybersecurity projects. See step one, you're going to want to gain a very specific skill for a very specific job. Don't just do all of everything. It's like an athlete wanting to do swimming, tennis, basketball, and football all at once. That's absurd. And so this right here really shows that you know what you're talking about, and it makes everything a lot easier in the process. It makes interviewing easier because they're going to ask you about your cybersecurity projects instead of some random memorization thing that you're going through. It's going to be easier to answer those questions because you actually know what you're talking about from a deep knowing. You also have tons and tons of frustration at this point because gaining these skills is not going to be particularly easy, but you can talk about that to a hiring manager. And it's really easy to tell someone who has just book knowledge versus someone who has actually gone in and done it. It's a very easy to decipher these two types of people. And so if you can talk about it, you're going to be ahead of most of the candidates. You want your, your resume to look exactly like this. Now, the last step is that you just need to stay consistent and build out a plan. So it can actually be really difficult to stay consistent if you're all by yourself, really have any real vision or personal goals. You can Watch my video right here about the 12 week year and how it's transformed my career and goals and things like that. 
And also, if you're interested, I do have a totally free step-by-step masterclass that walks you out on the new way into changing your career into cybersecurity or really anything, but mostly cybersecurity. And so check that out below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.